So one of the shapes people requested the most for 4D toys is a Klein bottle, and I wanted to do it justice with a proper update and explanation video. So 4D toys is a toy box filled with four dimensional toys. By four dimensional, I mean four dimensions of space and one dimension of time, instead of three dimensions of space and one dimension of time. If you haven't yet seen the 4D toys video, here's the link. Okay, so to make a Klein bottle, you can start with a tube, then turn one end inside out and connect it to the other end. And because the inside part and the outside part of the tube are glued together, the Klein bottle really only has one side. This is very similar to a Mobius strip, where you start with a rectangle, then turn one end upside down and connect it to the other end. And similarly, because the bottom part and top part of the strip are glued together, the Mobius strip really only has one side. Something special happens for the Klein bottle though. In order for the inside out end to connect to the regular end, the Klein bottle has to intersect with itself. But this is only true in three dimensions, because if the world had four spatial dimensions, we could remove the intersection by moving part of the Klein bottle into the fourth dimension. To show what I mean, we can look at an equivalent in one less dimension. If you were a 2D being, you could only see two dimensions at a time, up, down, and left, right. But what if the world was actually 3D and you were just a flat 2D character stuck on a 2D plane? You would only see a 2D cross-section through 3D objects. This object is a simple curved line that lies completely inside a 2D plane, and in addition, it has some thickness in the third dimension. And we can see that the curve intersects itself. However, it's possible to magically remove this intersection by making use of the mysterious third dimension. If we lift part of the curve into the third dimension, the intersection disappears. From the 2D perspective, that part of the curve looks like it is disappearing, but we know that that's not what's actually happening. We can move the cross section along the third dimension, kind of like an MRI, to see the missing part of the curve. And this is what it looks like when I move and rotate the curve around. Because this curve is a 1D shape with some added thickness, most cross sections of it will look like points with some thickness. In 4D toys, instead of seeing a 2D cross section of a 3D world, we see a 3D cross section of a 4D world. But otherwise, many of the same things happen, just in one higher dimension. So back to the Klein bottle. We can see that the Klein bottle intersects itself. However, it's possible to magically remove this intersection by making use of the mysterious fourth dimension. If we lift part of the shape into the fourth dimension, the intersection disappears. From our 3D perspective, that part of the shape looks like it is disappearing, but we know that that's not what's actually happening. We can move the cross section along the fourth dimension to see the missing part of the shape. And this is what it looks like when I move and rotate the Klein ball around. Because the Klein ball is a 2D surface with some added thickness, most cross sections of it will look like 1D lines with some thickness. Oh, and by the way, a Klein bottle can be made out of two Mobius strips. Here's how the top half of the bottle is a Mobius strip, and we can do the same thing for the bottom half. Anyway, if you'd like to play with this 4D Klein bottle and many other 4D shapes, you can download 4D toys using the links below. I've also included a higher dimensional version of the Klein bottle where you start with a 4D tube that ends in spheres instead of circles and turn one of the spheres inside out.